While the Clone Wars raged on across the galaxy, one unit of clone soldiers was deployed to a lush green world in the Outer Rim, where they were given the mission of defending a crucial Republic mining village from the droid army. One clone sniper was sent far ahead of the main group and was given the incredibly important task of destroying the bridge leading to the mining village while the droid forces were on it, which would save the lives of the miners. Strangely, as this clone sniper was preparing to take the critical shot, he was trolled badly by a weird creature, causing him to have to improvise. So was he able to land his shot and save the entire village? Let's find out. So the story begins at the large towering bridge which leads into the local mining village whose citizens are absolutely petrified at the incoming droid forces which just landed on their world very recently. Nearby, a red trimmed clone sniper who simply goes by it Post 473 for this mission is watching the bridge closely through the scope of his sniper, waiting for the precise moment to plant the blast charges and destroy the bridge. As he is patiently waiting for his moment to strike, Red Sniper's commander calls him on his comms device and asks if he is in position and ready. Red Sniper tells his commander that he does have the bridge in sight, to which the commanding officer responds, Good, the droid convoy will reach you in approximately 3 hours. Our reinforcements will arrive too late, so this is our only chance to stop them before they overrun the mining colony. And finally, he tells Red Sniper that he must keep calm silence for the rest of the mission, meaning if anything goes wrong, he won't be able to call for help or give updates. Red Sniper then agrees with his commander before mounting up on a nearby rock and finding the exact spot on the pillar of the bridge which will make the whole structure collapse and destroy all of the droids on top of it once they arrive. Red Sniper then says to himself, one precise shot at the middle pillar should do the job. And make sure you let me know in the comments what you think this clone sniper's nickname should be. He does get the name Post473 for the mission, but every clone trooper deserves a nickname, so let me know what you think it should be. As Red Sniper is looking through his scope, he suddenly has the life scared out of him, jumping back in a shock as a massive purple-skinned creature fills his scope. The clone sniper is initially stunned, but he is very quickly annoyed as the little creature starts jumping all over his weapon, knocking it around and causing a pretty dangerous situation. Red Sniper tries to shoo the little beast away from him, but this doesn't work, and the long-eared creature begins to sing out to his brothers in a weird grouping signal, calling them to join him. Strangely, as soon as he does this, he runs off into the grassy hills, while his brothers watch on, leading Red Sniper to say, strange creature, before moving back to his weapon to inspect the damage. Luckily for him, there isn't too much damage, but the creature did mess up the alignment on his scope. Red Sniper is then relieved that he hadn't actually loaded the weapon yet because the creature could have accidentally hit the trigger. Soon after, the clone sniper manages to realign his scope and now all he has to do is load up the rockets into his weapon and sit in silence until his time comes to take the critical shot. As Red Sniper goes to check on his ammunition bag however, he notices that the sneaky little creatures have stolen his rockets. This obviously frightens the clone trooper immensely as they could be set off at any moment, blowing a massive crater into the surrounding area without warning. As Red Sniper is panicking, looking for his stolen rockets, the blue creatures then begin to inspect the ammunition and are fascinated with them deeply, talking to each other in their native language. Eventually, Red Sniper discovers their location and comes rushing at the two creatures, demanding that they hand the rockets back to him. Fortunately for him, this just causes them to rush off in a fright, still carrying the rockets in hand. The clone sniper searches and searches the nearby area until he eventually spots the creatures rush into a narrow, dark cave nearby. Red Sniper tells them that there is no chance he's going to wait for them to come out and instead removes his helmet and begins crawling into the dark crevice. The exhausted clone trooper continues crawling through the dark, wondering how deep this tunnel can possibly go, but before giving up, he spots the creatures and demands that they drop the rockets. Thankfully for the trooper, this scares off the creature, leading him to run away through the tunnel, leaving the rockets behind. Red Sniper is relieved that he finally has his ammo back, but he is still very worried as he has only one hour until the droids reach the bridge. He absolutely needs to be there to take the shot or the droids will reach the village and slaughter the citizens living there. Unfortunately, things get a whole lot more complicated as the ground below Red Sniper begins to chip and crack before finally giving way and sending the poor clone trooper plunging a ridiculous distance down in an even darker cavern. Luckily for him, he lands in water, saving his life. As soon as he realizes that he's in water, all of his training and procedure rush through his head, leading him to pull out his rebreather and begin swimming towards the ammunition. Eventually, he grabs hold of the rockets, but he encounters a massive whale-like creature under the water, which immediately gobbles him up, putting him in an even worse situation. Fortunately, Red Sniper is very quick to act, pulling out his blaster pistol and putting a massive hole in the whale's body, allowing him to escape without injury. Soon after, he gasps for air as he comes back up to the surface of the water, 
where he once again quickly checks his watch. 30 minutes remaining. He very soon spots a light up ahead. Before he can even begin moving towards it, however, he says, wait, why is the water rushing so fast? Before unfortunately realizing that this is no cave opening. Instead, it's a raging waterfall ready to sweep him out of the cave and plummet down into the river below. Just moments later, the clone trooper is annoyed to notice that the creature has once again somehow found him. is causing him even more trouble. Red Sniper is holding onto the only rock in the water stream, which is saving him from plunging down into the chaotic water pool below. But the savage purple creature does something shocking. He pounds the rock into the clone sniper's hand, forcing him to let go of the rock in a horrible pain, which leads him to fall out of the waterfall with great speed. As he hits the rock below, Red Sniper blacks out and is left unconscious, just floating above the water, lucky to be alive. Sometime later, he is woken up by his comms device, with his commander shouting at him, demanding to know where he is. As reality comes racing back to Red Sniper, he soon realizes that he was unconscious for quite a long time, and has now missed his deadline to take the shot at the bridge. His commander tells him that the droid forces are on the bridge, but there's nothing he can do now. He is stuck below the bridge and doesn't have a line of sight from the mountain. Red Sniper's commander demands to know, what are you waiting for? Blow it now. He then angrily says to himself, what can one blaster do against an army? Moments later, however, he is relieved to see that the rockets actually survived the fall and landed on a nearby rock. The rockets are in a perfect position to blow the entire bridge to pieces and kill all of the droids above, saving the village. Very soon after this, Red Sniper lines up his shot with his blaster pistol, not knowing if he will live to see the result of his action but he pledges himself to the Republic and takes the shot. As the shot impacts, the B1 battle droids notice a strong rumble coming from below them before they are completely torn to shreds and sent flying in every direction while the bridge collapses. Red Sniper has completed his mission. He has saved an entire village of innocent miners without even taking his original shot. After some time, Red Sniper arrives back at his original post where he proudly says, mission accomplished. Before his commander tells him, good work, post 473, report back to camp, there's a new assignment waiting for you. Red Sniper is deeply annoyed by this after going through so much, but agrees and begins packing his gear. And to end the story, Red Sniper is stunned to see the two blue-skinned creatures return, this time stealing his sniper rifle away from him and running off into the nearby tree line. Red Sniper is furious at this and is forced to go on another long recovery mission, hopefully this time ending more easily. Legend says Red Sniper is still chasing these two creatures to this day. Who knows, maybe he was chasing these creatures for so long that he was left behind by his brothers and left on this remote world until the end of the war. At least that would mean he avoided Order 66. It might even be a story like the Clone Trooper Abel, which you can check out in the pinned comment down below. So that is the Clone Sniper who was trolled by his Separatist creature. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.